Oh my God, I need a bit of puke. What's up guys, Matt Dashu here from Blue Star Nutraceuticals coming at you with another faster fat loss video. Now for all these faster fat loss videos, we use metabolic conditioning. Why? Because metabolic conditioning is one of the best ways to burn a ton of calories while you're in the gym, but to continue to burn those calories up to 24, even more hours after your workout. So tons of bang for your buck here. Now, today we've got a doozy for you. We've got a kettlebell complex, which we're gonna superset with their, uh, the air, <laughs> <laughs> it was doing so good. Bike erg. Erg just seems like such a weird word. I'm like, erg. <clears throat> We've got four exercises there, and then we're gonna superset that with the uh, bike erg here. So we're gonna be using the assault bike in between sets. It's gonna be a nasty workout. So the first little kettlebell complex, we're gonna do five exercises actually. We're gonna do a kettlebell press for five reps, straight into a kettlebell squat for five reps, straight into kettlebell rows for five reps, straight into kettlebell swings for five reps with the doubles. Then we're gonna ditch one of the kettlebells and we're gonna do a kettlebell ax chop. Five reps for both sides, okay? So we're gonna torch that core as well. Right after that, we're gonna run over the bike. We're gonna punch out 30 seconds, high intensity on that as much as possible. And then we're gonna take a quick breather after that, okay? so. As always with these, we wanna keep the workouts alive. If you're getting a little bit torched on some of these, no big deal. Take a little bit extra rest if you need, but make sure you keep that heart rate elevated. And also, if you don't happen to have an assault bike handy, you can use a body weight exercise, something like jumping jacks, you can use lateral shuffles, you can use running on the spot. Whatever you're gonna do, make sure you keep the intensity high, keep the heart rate up, all right? And before we get started here, guys, just one quick note about the weight. So a lot of times people are curious as to how much weight we're using. It's not really about how much weight outside of, it's something that's going to allow you to be able to do the movement explosively and safely, okay? So as long as you can move these weights very quickly throughout the rep ranges and safely, that's what we're gonna pick, okay? So so pick whatever weight that's going to allow you to do that. Outside of that, don't worry too much about the numbers, just worry more about your output and keeping your heart rate elevated. All right, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, now we got a 60 to 75 second rest. If you don't need the whole 75 seconds, don't take it. But do remember, we got 10 rounds here. This one's gonna be a doozy. Now, just a quick note about kettlebell movements here again. We're doing the overhead press. Gotta make sure you got a nice neutral spine. The butt cheeks tight, core tight. Same thing when you're doing the squats. Knees over the ankles, rows. Everyone likes to do them a little bit different. I like to have my arms inside as opposed to doing them like this, whichever one you prefer works. And then the swings. The other thing there is if you wanna have your palms facing each other, kind of decreases the amount of surface area the kettlebell is gonna take up. You're less likely to bash your knees if you do it like that, which is totally cool with me to do. As long as you be careful, you're not torquing on the bicep too hard when you go into your extension. All right, round two. Here we go. 
pull. Big deep breaths in between sets, guys. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We don't want to hyperventilate. We want to control our breathing. Again, if you control your breathing, control your recovery. Now again, if you don't have one of these bad boys, you can throw in a body weight exercise, jumping jacks, running on the spot, something like that. I think what I'll do in the next combo is I'll throw one of those in just to demonstrate for you. All right, it's enough rest for me. This one's killing me. Those wood choppers at the end when you're gasping for breath. Oh man. I try to make a point as much as possible to really rotate and bring the hip with me so I'm not leaving the foot behind when I rotate. Puts a lot of torque on the knee. Rotate the foot this way, rotate the foot that way. Do the best you can. It's gonna be hard when you're exhausted. A couple more seconds here. I'm gonna bang out the last round. <sighs> All right, last round here, guys. Let's punch this out hard. Oh, oh. this thing kills me every time. Oh. That's it for today's workout, guys. Give me a minute to catch my breath. Oh. Try not to puke. Oh, God. Oh. You guys are probably gonna want some pro tips, aren't you? All right. Oh. All right, guys, I hope you liked that workout as much as I did. I want to give you a few pro tips here before I leave. So one thing right off the hop is we are doing these exercises super explosive, but make sure you maintain good form as you're doing them. Good form will actually help make them more explosive and keep them more safe at the same time. That's a big one. The other one, stay hydrated. These are high output workouts. You're gonna sweat a ton. So make sure you're drinking lots of water. I always take a scoop of amino fast with my workouts. I get the hydration complex, some extra carbs there for energy, branched chain amino acids, which helps me recover more quickly as well. So never forget about that stuff. Outside of that, make sure you keep the heart rate elevated. So you do have 75 seconds of rest time. If you feel like you're resting too much, or if your heart rate is completely recovering, take less rest time, okay? And if you absolutely need more, you can take it but do your best to stick to at least 75 seconds or less. Otherwise, you're not gonna get that metabolic effect, that EPOC effect, the excess post-exercise oxygen consumption effect that's gonna help keep burning fat for the next couple days after your workout. All right, that's everything I have to say for today. If you guys like this workout, please hit like and subscribe down below. And if you have any comments, questions or anything, mention it in the comment section. I like to check on there myself, try to make sure we answer all your questions. Outside of that, stay strong and we'll see you in the next video.